Hi, and welcome to Air Mason. My name is Holly, and today on this quick Air Mason demo, I'm going to show you exactly how the platform works and go over some of our great features. As I'm speaking today, you're going to see some questions that will appear on the right hand side of your screen. Feel free to put in your answers, and also, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat box, and we're going to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so let's take a look at one of our samples on our website. So here's our Netflix sample. The great thing about all of our handbooks, they're all mobile and tablet friendly. So if your employees are on the road or maybe at home sick, they can easily pull up this handbook on their smartphone and it's gonna look just as great on their phone as it does the computer. These handbooks really can touch on company culture. So it's no longer a boring black and white document that they may be used to. They all also have a table of contents over here on the left. So you can jump in here and find exactly what you're looking for. For instance, if you wanna find Netflix vacation policy, click in the table of contents and it will take you right to the vacation policy. All of the handbooks are also searchable. So you can also come in here and type in vacation and it will drop you right on the vacation policy as well. Shifting gears, we're gonna jump over to our admin dashboard. So this is what you all would see as admins on the platform. Your employees are not going to see this side. The great thing about the Air Mason dashboard is you can have as many handbooks or variations of the handbook in the platform as you'd like. So if you have employees across multiple states or multiple countries, you can have different variations of the handbook with their certain policies. You can also think outside of the box. You can drop in benefit books, company newsletters, SOPs, training and onboarding documents. The list is endless. Feel free to get creative, drop in as many documents in the platform as you would, you would like. Also, every handbook has an access button, so you can assign certain employees to certain handbooks. Not all of your employees have to see every single document that's in the platform. The next thing to point out, this manage organization side, this is where we can integrate with several different HRIS systems to make pulling your employees into Air Mason seamless. Once your employees are added into to your HRIS, they're automatically going to populate here into Air Mason. As soon as someone is removed from your HRIS, maybe they left your organization, they will automatically be removed from Air Mason, their access will be revoked, but of course, we're still gonna house their signatures on our back end in case you do need to pull those down the road. So the only information we're gonna gather from your HRIS would be employee name, email address. This can be a company email address or a personal email address. This is where they're gonna get alerts when you've made updates to the handbook or you need them to digitally sign off on the handbook. Employee ID right here. We can actually integrate with single sign-on, so it makes it even easier for your employees to access their handbooks or documents. By forcing SSO, they would just click on their email address and be in. But don't worry, if you don't have SSO, not a problem. You can use an employee email address or an employee ID number as a username and have your employees create a password to log in. Location and team, these are also optional fields, but we can set some automatic rules here. If you're located in the US, you're automatically gonna be assigned the US handbook. If you're located in Canada, you may automatically be assigned the, Can uh, the Canadian handbook. Or let's just say we have some sort of documentation just for our sales team. We can actually group together all of our salespeople and give them access to that particular document. If you do not have an HRIS system, not a problem. This employees button right here, you have the ability to jump in here and individually add in an employee, or you can press this add multiple button and drop in a CSV file of all of your employees. It's very quick and easy to make sure your employees are appearing in Air Mason. Next tab to point out, collaborators. This is where you can jump in, add in as many collaborators as you'd like and recruit some help. So come in here, maybe if someone's helping out with the content or helping with the design, 
type in all of their information and choose their account type. You can even come down here and customize what someone can or cannot do in the AirMason platform. Again, remember, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them over in the chat box and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Back on that admin dashboard, you're gonna see this blue new handbook button up here in the top right hand corner of your admin dashboard. You can come in here and create a new handbook. Make sure to give it a name. Also, to update the handbook link, press continue. And you're gonna have two options here. You can use one of our pre-made templates and actually copy and paste in all of your own text and then change out the creative elements and drop in your brand guidelines to make sure it matches your company's branding. Or you can actually upload any of your existing documents right to our team. We'll do all of the copy and pasting for you. We'll set up all of the different templates and we'll put in the table of contents. That handbook is gonna come in completely black and white. At that point, then you can jump in the editor, continue to edit your handbook, make sure it's up to date, and you can begin designing it on your own. Or if you do need some design help, you're welcome to hand over your completed handbook contents as well as any creative elements you can provide to us and your brand guidelines. And our extremely talented creative team can actually design the whole handbook for you. One other offering that we do have is copywriting services. Maybe you need to condense your handbook down. Maybe it's long and full of legalese and you really want it to match your company's tone, make it more friendly, make it more inviting, rather than this is what you cannot do in the workplace. You can work with our talented team of copywriters to actually have us jump in, take a look at any of your content that you already have, help you build out that framework and revamp the handbook to make it a little bit more modern, like I said, match your company's tone and really make it a piece that's gonna wow your employees. So if you are interested in copywriting or creative design, go ahead and drop it in the chat box and we're happy to reach out with uh, some more information if you'd like. Let's hypothetically say you did drop in your handbook right here. It's gonna be uploaded by our team. As soon as it's uploaded, it's going to appear in your account right here as a tile. Whenever you hover over this tile, you're gonna see these three dots appear up here in the top right. When you click these dots, this is where you're gonna launch the editor. Again, where you're gonna make those changes, where you're gonna design it, also where you can publish to your employees. You can also view your employee signatures here. We'll get to this in a few minutes. We're actually gonna sign off on a handbook. And it's also very, very easy to duplicate a handbook. This is nice if you're gonna break out location by location. You can make an exact copy and then maybe change some policies to match the location that you're making a handbook for. So let's go ahead and launch our editor. We have created this with you in mind. We have tried to make this as user-friendly as possible so you can jump in here at any point and keep all of your handbook contents up to date. So over here on the left-hand side, these are the pages that make up your handbook. So this essentially makes up your table of contents. And if you want to work on a particular page, come over here, find it. When you click on it, it's going to jump right there for you. If you right click on a page, you've got several different options here. You can come in here. You can add in different sections above or below. You can duplicate a section. You can move pages around, change a template, even delete a page here. We've tried to make this very, very user friendly for you. And then of course, when you click inside of a text box, your cursor is gonna appear as well as this toolbar. You can jump in here and say, read more info here. You have the ability to grab a word here, link out to any external source. So if you wanna link to your payroll system or maybe um, to your benefits guide, you can absolutely link out anywhere. Another great thing that you can do, and we've seen a lot of companies actually um, incorporating videos right into their handbook. So make sure your video is housed on a URL, drop in that URL, and the video will populate right here in your handbook. We've seen welcome videos. Even recently, we've seen um, HR representatives actually going over the benefits 
in a video so that employees can quickly and easily understand the benefits that are offered to them. If you wanna maybe drop in a new page on your handbook, click this add page button and you've got several different templates in here. You can come in here and find the template you're looking for, click on it, give it a page name and then get to work. One thing to note, you do have to work off of these templates because all of these templates are gonna work with that mobile capability so your handbook will look great on your smartphone. And if we wanna take a particular page and actually style it, change a background, we can hit the style button. When you log in here, all of your bubbles will be grayed out like this. This is because you have the ability to double click on a bubble, paste in a custom color code here, or use the selector to find the color you're looking for. And when I press OK, this blue is now going to stay in my custom color palette for me to use at any point. We can also choose a photo as a background. You can upload images right from your computer or the search the web feature, this is great. These are all stock images available to you. You can come in here and type in a keyword, click on any one of these images and it's gonna change that background. So we're gonna go ahead and revert back to white. Let's find it down here. Press okay. Maybe change our text color so we can now see the words on our page. And one more thing to point out, this theme button up here in the top left, this is where you can choose a title font and a body font throughout the whole handbook. Of course, if you have a custom font and it's not in this list, not a problem at all. You can definitely request that through our customer success team and we will drop that in your account for you. Another great feature, as you're working in the editor, if you can't remember how to do something or get stuck, we have this chat button in the bottom right. This comes right to our customer success team. So if you think of a question, feel free to come in here and send us a message. You're also gonna see this button on the admin dashboard as well. One last great feature that I'd love to point out, you have this button that makes a particular page common. So let's hypothetically say we have a US handbook as well as a Canadian handbook. We can come in here and say, yes, flex time should be exactly the same and it should be exactly the same throughout these different handbooks. And you can pick and choose, you know, maybe choose the Canadian handbook. And then anytime you update flex time in the US handbook, it's also linked to the Canadian handbook, so flex time will also be updated. This saves you quite a bit of time. So, as you're working in your handbook, your changes are saving in real time. As soon as you want to actually push these changes to your employees, that's when you press the publish button. Every time you publish, it is going to create a version for you. Let's go ahead and press publish. Here's where you have a few options. Do you want to notify everyone that has access to this particular handbook via email of these changes and do you want them to sign off on these changes? Of course, if you made a small little grammatical change and they don't need to be alerted and don't need to sign, just toggle this to no. Next time they logged in, that change would be made. They just wouldn't be alerted of it. But we're going to say yes, we absolutely do want them to receive an email and we do want them to sign off on these changes. Here's the email message your employees are gonna receive. You can customize all of this text by unchecking the box and typing in whatever you would like. Let's just go ahead and say policy change. And once you're good to go, you're gonna press send notification and publish. And now all of your employees that have access to this handbook are gonna receive an email. As your employee, I just received this email we are able to customize this email address so it looks like it's coming from your organization rather than Air Mason. We can also drop in your banner logo here so it's branded to your company. Your employees will see this little body message that you're able to customize and will also have a link to take them directly to the handbook. I'm already logged in so I'm gonna land right on the handbook if your employees were not logged in, they would land in the login page and either type in their email address or employee ID and password that they've created, or if we forced SSO, they're gonna click on their email address and they'll be in. The first message your employees will see is this little acknowledgement. 
basically just showing they've received the handbook. You're welcome to customize this text, or you can even turn off this acknowledgement if you do not wish to have it. We'll go ahead and say yes, acknowledge, and here's our handbook. As you scroll through, if you wanna quickly and easily see pages with updates, you can jump in the table of contents and see here's that flex time page. We've made a recent update. When we click on flex time, it's going to jump right to the page. Also, on the right, this is our accessibility menu, and this menu is available to any of your employees if they need to use him. As your employees scroll through their handbook, they're going to see this banner that will remain at the top of their screen until they've in fact signed off. Once they're good to go, they're able to press the sign button. You all can customize all of this text to make sure it's legally compliant and then your employee can type in their name and press sign. Once they've signed, they can go back to their handbook list. This list will show them every handbook you've given them access to, and it will show that we've signed, so no further action is needed. We can also drop in your logo on this handbook list page. We can even customize this domain for you, so you can always drop in this URL on your internet or maybe on your HRIS, somewhere where your employees can easily access this. All right, so we have now actually signed off in the handbook, and as an admin, we wanna see who's actually signed off. So we're back on our admin dashboard. Here's the handbook we just published. Again, press the three dots, and now we're gonna view our employees' signatures. So all of your employees that have access to this particular handbook would be listed here. Here's my email address. It shows I acknowledge receipt today at 2.55 p.m. I also signed the handbook at 2.56 p.m. And if you wanna see all of my activity, this activity report will show you every single time I've acknowledged receipt, date, time, and version. We'll show you that I just signed the latest version with the date, the time, it even picks up my IP address. Another nice bit on here, you can see how long your employees have spent reading the handbook. All of this information that will be in the grid can be exported to either a CSV or a PDF. Another nice feature is this reminder settings. Come in here, make sure to turn it on, choose your frequency, and then set your message. This is all customizable. And every five days, your employees are gonna receive an email if they have not jumped into Air Mason and signed off. Another great reminder so you don't have to do the work yourself. Thanks so much for taking the time today to listen to the Air Mason demo. Of course, if you have any questions or if you'd like to be contact further, please drop that over in the chat feature. And we look forward to hopefully speaking with you soon. Thanks so much and have a great day.